Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. In today's video, we're going to show you how to find all 33 collectibles here in the Southern Reach and Jedi Survivor. So without further ado, let's jump into it. Now, as always, remember that some of these collectibles require certain abilities that you don't unlock until later on in the game. So if you can't get some of them, just come back and get them later. So we're actually going to start from the meditation point that's right at the beginning of the Southern Reach. It's actually called Southern Reach Meditation Point. But once you're here, we're just going to work our way up the path and follow the path. You'll probably encounter some enemies up here. Uh, and as we come across this overlook, we're going to take a left. And while you're working your way down the hill, this little plant right here on the left side of the path is going to be a seed pod. So go ahead and destroy that tree and you'll go ahead and get your first collectible. Now, after grabbing that seed pod, continue to work your way down the hill. And just behind this green roof, you guys can see a chest. So we'll just go right over here, jump up on this ledge. And right here is where you'll be able to find your second collectible. Now, after opening this chest, we're going to jump over this ledge and we're just going to work our way over by this rock. You'll have some enemies over here, but if you continue down this path right here on the other side of this rock, you're going to have another seed pod. You can destroy this plant right here as well as the enemy and get your third collectible. Now, after destroying this plant and getting your seed pod, we're going to come over here to where these vines are on the rocks and we're going to climb up on this rock right here. We can jump over to this vine jump across to the other vine, climb to the top, and then to your left, we're gonna have a bird's nest. We can interact with that bird's nest and this is gonna be your fourth collectible. Now, once you're done at the bird's nest, we're gonna turn right and we're actually gonna swing across here. So we'll jump up onto this first one. We can double jump over to this one and we'll do the same thing across. And once we get here, we're gonna have some vines on the right we need to cut and we're gonna go through here. We'll do another swing across. So go ahead and swing across this platform. We can stop by right here and grab this sense echo. And after doing the sense echo, we can come right over here and we're going to have a chest over on this platform so you can jump across. You'll also have an enemy over here. So just take him out and you'll be able to get your next collectible right here. Now, after you open up this chest, we're going to turn around and we're going to jump back over this way and we're going to take a left. And once we come to this opening, if you look right, we're going to have a rope here. What we want to do is use the force to grab that and we're going to swing across and jump on that platform. So you need to be standing in a specific area for it to work. But once you swing, you can jump across, get up on this platform. And once you get up on this platform right in front of us, we're going to have a bush and take out that bush with the green orbs and we'll get ourselves another seed. Now, after you pick up the seed to get our next two, we're just going to continue this direction. We'll jump across here. Over here on the right side, you guys will see the blue glow. We can go ahead and sense that echo. That'll be another collectible. And once you're done doing that, you guys can see the other blue orb in the back that we can go grab. And that'll be another collectible. Now, once you've grabbed these, we're going to turn around and head in the opposite direction, this time on ground level. And we're just going to work our way in between all of these rocks. And once we get back over here, we're going to have a little boss that we're going to have to fight. So he'll be chilling right here below where I'm standing. You can drop down and fight him, take him out. And after doing that, you can come right over here and in front of the rock formation that he's on, you're going to find a plant right over here. It's going to have another seed pod. So you can go ahead and destroy that plant and get another seed pod. Now, after taking out the boss and getting the seed pod that's right in front of him, we're just going to turn to the right and we're going to go underneath here. And if we just travel straight underneath and stay on the left side, we're going to come across another seed pod. So right over here in front of these rocks, you guys will see the green glowing orbs. We can just go ahead and destroy that bush and we'll get another seed pod. Now, after you pick up this seed pod, we're going to turn to the right and go under this arch. And you guys are going to see this giant tank. There's going to be a scavenger droid that's hanging out behind this tank. So if we come around the corner carefully, you'll see him back there. We want to go take him out. So we'll sprint back here really quick. We'll take him out. And once you take him out, he'll drop another collectible. Now, after you take out the scavenger droid, all you need to do is come around this corner to this really weird looking building. And if you walk up to it and scan it, this is going to be another collectible. All right. Now, once you scan the building, we're going to go to the top of it and grab a ton of collectibles. So what we want to do is come in between the walls here and we're just going to jump back and forth until we get to the top. Once you get to the top, you're not going to be able to go any higher, but you're going to grab onto this ledge here. We can work our way all the way around and we're going to jump over to this platform. Once you're at this platform, we can jump up here, jump to the top. We're going to climb up the rocks on our right. We're going to climb up again and we're going to climb up again. And once we're up here, we're going to have a ton of seed pods to find. We're going to work our way up straight here. The first two are going to be found one on each side. So you guys can see the green glow here. This will be your first one. Your second one's going to be right over here on the left. So go ahead and take that one out. Now you guys can see our third one is up here on the right. 
but we'll come up here, take out this one. Our fourth one is also right next to it. And our fifth one is right over here. So all three of these are all in a row. So one, two, and then the other one's right here. So that should be five that you've gotten so far. Now to get number six, we're gonna head back over here on the left. You guys can see it right over here. When we hit this bush, that'll be number six. If you can hit it. <laughs> And then number seven is going to be all the way on the back right over here. So we'll head back over this way. Right over here in this corner, you guys can see our next one. So destroy that and you'll get another seed pod right there. And then our final one is going to be right in between these rocks. You can come over here and that'll be eight seed pods that you were able to get. And after you finish grabbing all the seed pods up here, we can go into the cave in the back. And in the back corner, you guys will find another collectible. Now, after grabbing the item in this cave, we're going to turn around and head back to the building that we initially climbed to get up here. And you guys can see down here this disc shaped rooftop. We're going to have a collectible that's actually on that rooftop. It's going to be on the ledge on the far side. So run all the way across here. And once we get over here, you'll see these rock formation things hanging out right over here. You're going to be able to find another collectible. Now, after you pick this one up, we're going to go get another seed pod. So if you turn to the right and look over here, we're going to have this blue laser coming out from the meditation site. What we're going to do is jump down and kind of head towards that. You'll see these small little buildings down here. We're going to run past these buildings. So if we go around here, I think you're going to end up running into an enemy or two as well. We'll go right past these buildings and up here where these droids are, we're going to find ourselves another seed pod. So you guys can see it right here where I'm standing. The bush is right here. You can take that out and you'll be able to get yourself another collectible. And to get our next collectible, we're going to head to the other side of the reach. So you guys were currently over here in the top right corner. We want to work our way over here to this meditation site. So I'm currently standing at the Ramblers reach out post. You guys can see the meditation site here. Facing the outpost, we're just going to walk our way up this path and you guys are going to see this yellow structure on our left. We're actually going to have a seed pod that's right in front of this. So if we go over here in front of it, you guys will see that right over here, this bush has the glowing green orbs. We can go ahead and take that out and we'll get ourselves another collectible. Now, after picking this one up, if you do a complete 180, we're just going to go across this little river here and we can jump up on this little rock. Right over here, we're going to have another seed pod. So behind this bush, you guys can see the green glowing orbs. Go ahead and take that out and you'll get yourself another collectible. Now, after you grab this seed pod, we're going to have two collectibles that are on the rock formation above us. But the only way to get there is to head over here toward the hunter's quarry. So if we go around here, we're going to take a left. And what we're going to do is work our way all the way up top. So we're going to jump over this rock here. And we're going to go all the way around the back. So just travel all the way around this rock formation and I'll speed it up to show you exactly where to go. All right, now once you make it up top, we're just going to run over here and we're going to have a bird that we can actually use to fly across. Run over in this direction, you'll see the bird hanging out over here. We're going to go ahead and jump on this guy and we're just going to fly across over here to this rock formation. Now you need to go to the bottom left here. It can be quite difficult. You may need to jump, dodge, whatever. But once you get up here, we're gonna have a seed pod as well as some treasure. The seed pod will be right in the middle where all these bushes are. So you can just destroy those. That'll be your first collectible up here. The second one's gonna be over here where the other bird is. So you can go ahead and pick that one up right here. Now, after grabbing the collectibles up here, essentially what we wanna do is come back over here and fly down toward this giant yellow structure. Now you can't jump down or you'll end up dying. So what we're gonna do is come over here and take this bird and just fly around the back side of the rock. So he'll jump up, you can jump up on him and we'll just take a right here. Fly all the way back down over here to this big yellow structure. You may get shot at a few times on the way down. And once you're down here, you want to use your force lift ability. If you don't have force lift yet, you're not going to be able to grab this one. But go ahead and force lift that up. And then we're going to have a treasure right here underneath it. So we can go underneath, pick that up. And there you go. You got another collectible. Now, once you open up this door and grab this collectible, we're going to go to the left side and go on the back side of this thing. And you guys can see up on the mountain over there, we have another giant yellow door structure. We're going to work our way over there and go inside. I'll see you guys when we get there. All 
All right, so now that we're here, we're gonna use force lift, open up the door and we'll go inside. Now, the first thing that we're gonna do is run to the end of this dark hallway and we can jump across, use our lightsaber to grab on and we'll fall down safely into this room. Now, once you're in this room, you wanna be very careful of all this blue stuff that's hanging out. If you walk inside of all the blue stuff, it will kill you. So try to avoid that as you're moving around in this room. Now, once you're up here in this room, the first thing we wanna do is go up this ramp in this direction, but we wanna avoid all the blue stuff. So be careful as you're going this way and then we're going to jump across over to this platform. Now, once we get to this platform, if we look over here, you're going to see this little ball. We can use the force and grab that ball and we're going to throw it back to where we just came from. So make sure you don't hit the ceiling, toss it back on over there, and then we can jump back across. Once we're up here, we're going to grab that ball again and we can toss it in this little thing we have in the middle. And once you put it there, it's going to start the laser and we can move on to the next step. All right. So now that you've got the laser going, we're going to run back over to the platform and we're going to jump up here and we can actually now go outside. Now you can see that this laser is pointing at this red building in front of us. What we're going to do is use BD's ability, his burn ability, and we're going to take it into this building right here in front of us. Now there will be a door here. All you need to do is use your lightsaber and it'll destroy the door. So we're going to come over here to this laser. We're going to use BD's burning whatever this is ability and we're going to bring it down to the ground and we're just going to bring this inside this building and attach it all this stuff in here and then we're going to get a really cool little cut scene where this whole building explodes so you guys will see the fire will ignite it'll burn it all away check this out the whole building explodes and after this really short cutscene, we can then go inside and we're going to have a really dope chest that we can open up. And this will be how you get your next collectible. Now, after we're done in here, we're going to go back outside and we're going to go left. I'm going to hop on one of these guys just to save a little bit of time. So I'll hop on him so we can move around quickly. But like I said, we're going to go left and we want to go over here to where this big monster is. So you guys should be able to see a big monster over here. There's a blue building up there that we're working towards. But there's going to be a big monster somewhere along the way, so be careful as you're running this direction. You can fight him if you want. You don't necessarily need to. Uh, the best way to do this is just to follow this path up the hill. We're going to get another seed pot up here. So when you work your way up to this building, I have no idea where this monster went. He was just here. But when you get up to this building, instead of going inside, we're going to go to the bushes over here on the right. And over here in the back, all the bushes, we're going to be able to get ourselves another seed pod in our next collectible. Now, once you grab the seed pod right here in front of this blue looking building, we're going to follow the path up the hill here. And as you work your way up this path, you want to stay on the right side. We're going to encounter another seed pod. So we'll run up a little bit further. If you come up here towards these bushes, you guys will see it right here. You can take this out and you get yourself another collectible. Now, after you grab this seed pod, we only have one more collectible to get and we're going to head all the way down the hill to get it. I decided to get this guy to move a little bit quicker so that you don't have to watch me run for a while. But we're going to go down here and you guys can see where the meditation site is. We're going to go to that little building that's just behind it. And you can see the skull that's hanging down from this little overhang thing. We're going to come right up to this and we're going to use the force to pull that down. So if you get underneath it, it's not going to give you an indication, but if you use the force, pull it down, you're going to be able to get your final collectible right here. But this is how to get all 33 collectibles here in the Southern Reach. If you guys have any other questions, make sure to leave them down in the comment section below, and we'll see you guys in the next video.